afternoon, and thank you so much for being with us for this Your TV broadcast of the CJFL football here in Belleville. We're at beautiful Loyalist College, and the sun is shining for the first inaugural, inaugural Quinney Skyhawks game here in the Ontario Football Conference against the London Beef Eaters. I'm Ryan Pettigrew, and this is Brock Orman. Thanks, Ryan, and yeah, this is uh, going to be an outstanding game. This has been two years in the making uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic. All right, Brock, so today, once again, we're here with the London Beef Eaters and the Quinney Skyhawks in their first ever CJFL game in Ontario Football Conference action. The Skyhawks are actually the only team in the o uh, Ontario Football Conference that haven't played a game yet. So what can we expect? Well, the Skyhawks, uh, if you talk to Peter Gabriel and the staff down there, Ryan, they'd say that this has been a long time in the making. As I was just about to say, the, the pandemic kind of uh, stalled their uh, Ontario Junior Football League uh, push and we're able to get in now uh, two years after the announcement was made this is a good level of football this is equivalent to a junior hockey type whereas the varsity teams are a little more towards the minor football side of the equation Quinty's going to be in the white with blue black and a little bit of lime green and the London Bee Feeders in the navy blue with the red silver and a little bit of white, you would say, in their uniform. So this should be a good matchup. Skyhawks are expected to really throw the ball. They've got a good local quarterback, and Carter Stevens will watch out for him today. Yeah, so I had the chance to talk to some of the coaches before the game. Carter Stevens spent a year at Waterloo, Wil or Wilfrid Laurier, rather. So um, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's not gonna move around a lot in the pocket. They like to keep him stagnant. That O line needs to protect him today if they're gonna be successful. And I expect to see a lot of medium level throws, not going deep a lot, short and intermediate throws today as we get ready for the kickoff. Yeah, and this game will be as you as you see at Loyalist College, and it's a good crowd here. They put in actually uh, grandstands to uh, fill in the field a little bit here. They, these are brand new. This is the site where they normally play the Loyalist College varsity sports. The kickoff is underway, and this is the opening game for the Skyhawks team football here in Belleville. And the beef eaters run it right away. Good stop there by the Skyhawks at about the 35. They'll try to go for the kick here. The beef eaters looking to break the ice. And it is good. 3-0, beef eaters. First field goal of the game, first points, couple of points, and this game, I think. And you can already see his receivers are actually getting open pretty well. So as soon as he can start to connect those dots, I think it'll be helpful. There you go, nice throw there by Stevens, right into the hands of Grimes, but he falls down, he stumbles, and then he does a little flip. A little bit of a push there from Ross to try and defend his player. But nice toss by Stevens there, and Grimes this time gains a few extra yardage, and they're gonna move the sticks down further. Just taking another look at that, that's just throw and catch. Receiver and quarterback chemistry rolling out of the pocket, and grab that, and he's gone. He gets a first down and, and then some. To at least be competitive and potentially even win as the handoff to Bell after the first down. The beef feeders get through Bell with a nice little spin move there, and there's a bit of a wrestling match going on behind the play. You know, slightly laboring coming off the field. But uh, good to see Mackenzie Jacobs Dunford walking off largely on his own power as we'll get set to resume action here at Loyalist College Varsity Field. Always oh, after him in the backfield. Nice push, nice throw there right across. He might have a shot at a touchdown. Will he get there? Looks like he just about did. Hard to tell from this angle. That is great pocket awareness by quarterback Clark McCallum. You see the vet mentality coming in there. He's well aware of what's going on in the pocket. Just roll out and get it to the open man. That's a great play by him. And they're calling touchdown. Yeah, they just must have barely squeezed across there. Nice work by, you know, don't lose kind of that confidence that you're building up here. There's a run, they're going to the outside, sweeping out to the left. This might be a chance for a touchdown. It's another one for the beef feeders standing up. It's CJFL. Well, and you know what? You don't want to see any excuses, new team or not. You want your guys to be there and ready to play. And, you know, hopefully they can make some pushback here as he's ripping off one big run here. Yeah, that's Bailey Grimes. Nice stiff, stiff arm. arm. That's a beautiful stiff arm as about four beef eaters come in, and that will energize the crowd. Nice to see Bailey Grimes on that run. He and Jacob Grimes coming in as a package deal. 
The and coaches they, told me to watch out for the brothers here, and you can see why right there. Very athletic play, cutting the field in half and going to the east-west game, sorry, and uh, just ripping off a big run there. Very sh showing off the athleticism. The stiff arm, though, I mean, that's just a little bit of showmanship right there. And uh, you heard the bench go absolutely wild beside us, so perhaps this is a turning point of sorts for this offense. You want to see him kind of get the ball right in the bread basket, and uh, that one had a little wobble to it, so hopefully he can tighten things up as the defense gets right on top of him. Yeah, nice work by Stevens there to slither out. Nice toss there and a beautiful catch by Jacob Grimes. So the Grimes bros are rolling here on this sequence. And Carter Stevens puts it out to him on the left after slithering through a couple tackles there. Just a little bit of space that was available to him and he makes the most of it. And Jacob Grimes benefits with that uh, reception. That was great pocket awareness by Stevens to see the man coming and bounce around a little bit, as you see there, stepping around a couple guys before rolling out and slinging that ball. It's a great style. catch for a first down. We're starting to see them scratch and claw their way back into this. The offense is looking a lot more rhythmic than they were before as they take a quick break for some water here. But that was impressive. That was an impressive showing by Stevens on that, on that play. I mean, when things start to break down, it's really easy to panic and, and start to do some... Uh, questionable things so he did a great job just bouncing staying away keeping the tacklers off of him and rolling out to get the ball to the men on this offensive sequence there it is again Stevens on the high toss oh one-handed catch and a beauty by Tristan Gilbert Thibault that one was going over his head and he managed to crane back grab it with one hand and then yank it down and that should be Close to a first down as well. You would think they're moving the chains down. Yep. That's, That's a great catch by the wide out there, but look at this throw by Stevens. He just lobs it up there. That's a dangerous pass with three defenders in the vicinity, but great job by the wide out to get a hand up there and snag that one down. There's one for his highlight reel. Yeah, for sure, for the demo tape or the uh, uh, recruitment video, if you will. As, yeah, for sure. And Lovick has been very visible out here on the defensive end so far. Nice high toss, but meeting him right there with a nice tackle. Willis College is hosting every home game this season, all four of them, it's an eight game schedule. High toss to the corner. Oh, nice little reach there, but not quite. And not that quite. play marks the half. We heard the siren go off. So 43 to nothing at halftime here on your TV's broadcast of the CJFL here in Belleville. We'll be back with the second half shortly. I'm Ryan Pettigrew here with Brock Ormond for a Your TV Kojiko broadcast of CJFL football here in Belleville. Skyhawks, beef eaters. It was a tough first half for Quinty, but there's a whole other half. So what are we what are we looking at, Brock? Yeah, well, the Skyhawks, like you said, it's a tough first half, but they got to be able to uh, kind of put it behind them. And like we said uh, before the break, just uh, find a way to score at least a few points because even a, a nice little chip shot for a field goal will give this team a whole ton of confidence. So at least they can say they're on the board now. The fans are behind them, and they can push forward and bring some momentum uh, through the rest of this game into their next one next week. And look, nobody is safe from mistakes. This is a new team. They've only been together about three weeks as a full unit. Some notes. Order special. Uh, you're you're going to be in a much worse position. So we'll see if Stevens can hold on here. Nice long throw. David Ross, nice twist and a nice grab there as he dives out to get the first down. Pushed in the chains down the field. David Ross on the feed from Carter Stevens. And already Stevens looking way better with the ball in his hands, right? That was a perfect throw. Crisp, no wobble. Take another look at that here. Set up to play great, completion, and that's big at the start of a series like this, right? You want to start the second half strong? He got the ball right at his man, put it where only he could get it, and ball security has been an issue in this game, so that's a great start for Stevens and the offense. Yeah, and Ross with his long arms is able to reach out for that one, grab a hold of it, and then yank it in. I see Kelly back on the field as well, number seven at wide receiver. He was in some discomfort earlier before. And first down as well. Not sure what happened there. Jordan Mackey gets set up. Mackey's got a big arm, long throw. Not a great one, though, but it is going to get into the hands of the receiver. 
That is definitely going to be an easy first down. That'll move the chains along a little further, and London just gets past center field. That is an unbelievable grab there and tight coverage by Connor DePodesta on the uh, long throw. And you see Mackey, he's so much taller than everybody else. He throws that ball. He can see very well, obviously, with that height. And uh, DePodesta with a great catch there. Like I said, tight coverage over the shoulder. That's pretty picturesque. Indeed it is. He had a touchdown earlier, as well as Taz Bell we saw, uh, as well as Gamey Kazadi. Brian Harkness came in after him, and then Jordan Mackey is the third stringer in the third quarter, and here he is, you know, playing like he should be the top guy. There's a nice throw. That one's going to be picked intercept. off. There it is. First pick of the year for Quinty, first in their franchise history in the CGFL, and it's Thomas Robinson with the grab. And that's huge. This is a huge point. They're so excited over on that sideline. This could be a turning point. I understand the game might be a little bit out of reach score-wise, but any kind of excitement is huge in this game. It's the first game. As we look again, just a great read. He covered his man, and he anticipated the throw. He got in front of it. We've seen the beef feeders do it. Now the Skyhawks are getting in on that. That's a great read by the defensive back for Quinney. Yeah, and Thomas Robinson, too, has been an underrated player. We saw him make a couple of nice tackles earlier. He's a very smart, intuitive player, and he's able to, you know, just... Well, when the score discrepancy is as high as this, again, we said earlier, it's probably best to rest your big guys and let everyone get some reps. Great pick and oh. Oh, that's a beautiful pick by Conlon Sargentson. He's going to get all the way. First ever touchdown history in the making. Conlon Sargentson, it's a Belleville boy, too, that does it. Off the pick six, and the Quinney Skyhawks have made history with their first ever TD. And it comes in the defensive sequence. How about that? You can listen to this crowd roaring here as the defense hypes them up. These players are excited. Score doesn't matter. These fans are here for these football players for the long haul. Yep, that's what helps having those local kids. And it's, it's so great to see a guy like Common Sargentson who's really put in the time and effort in the Belleville Minor football system to be able to uh, get to this point. And again, that's a pretty special moment for him. Great job to get in front of that ball. Bats it down, grabs it, and he's gone. How do you like that? Look at him run away too, and Robinson's there supporting him. And even you see back there, Ethan Larcher, who was trying to defend against that last beef eater that potentially could run up and catch him. I think the best part of that is seeing the fans cheering for this team and also seeing the players engaging with the fans after they scored the touchdown. Yeah, and that's, that's what it's all about right there is the fan support and you know these guys have got their parents out, they got family and, and loved ones out and it's so great to see uh, that support for them because if they didn't have that then they would be in tough for sure. And we, talk, seven. we talked about this earlier, this is the culmination of two plus years of work. A lot of these players, coaches, everything that went into getting this team here, a lot of people have sacrificed a lot to make this happen. So the larger symbolism of that touchdown is, is so much greater than just the score on the board. You're right, and you know, that's especially like we said, Sargentson being the local guy that does it too. I mean, I think the only thing better than that would have been Carter Stevens hooking up with a guy like, you know, uh, uh, Tristan Gilbert Tebow or Jack Kelly or someone like that. But, you know, Colin Sargentson doing it, that might be even sweeter because it was a pick six. It was so unexpected, too. We were almost uh, thinking that they were going to get that pass over, and instead they ended up pulling it off. I definitely got caught up in that moment as a fan of football, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and so you should. That was a great play and excitement, for sure, as the beef eaters try to pull by. There's two men tackling. Number two. But, yeah, I mean... This Skyhawks staff has kept with him the whole game. Jonah Leitner, the backup quarterback, has not gotten one rep. There's a nice long spiral pass. Beautiful catch there. And a tackle coming up here from two B feeders, but a nice long bomb throw from Stevens gets the Skyhawks a first down. And that was an excellent play there by the Skyhawks. You saw the B feeders playing really, really tight up on the line. We'll take another look at that. The beef eaters had almost all of their players right tight up on the line, and the two safeties way in the back, and they just got beat. Great pass by Carson or Carter, Carter Stevens, my bad. 
Yeah, and that was Brandon Robbins that made the catch. We haven't seen a fort. We don't have a 14 in our roster, but you know we had him as uh, number eight, and so he's wearing 14 today, and he made a really nice as grab. well. As, as Stevens, it's it's important for multiple guys to be able to shoulder the load emotionally for the team, right? It's a long season, and football is a tough game, so you need to have guys like there to keep the. Nice pass, and that's going to be at the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Skyhawks. That's David, Ra or pardon me, Tristan Gilbert Thibault with the touchdown. And there's two now on the game for the Skyhawks. Nice little bit of late magic offensively. That beautiful arc pass was so breathtaking that I forgot what I was saying while I was saying it. I mean, great job by Stevens. The receiver created separation. And again, we're using those big CFL end zones, using that length that you can get in there. It's we're going to take another look at that touchdown, a great connection from Stevens and his receiver. Just great job creating separation. He's got the size mismatch. You can see the receiver is taller than the defensive back. Everything worked out perfectly on that one, and it was a great throw by Stevens, placing it at very back of the end zone for his guy to walk into. That was Tristan Gilbert Tebow on the catch. Obviously going to be a strong connection, I think, this season. We've seen them connect a couple of times today. and On the long-range pass in the back of the end zone, uh, those are two big highlights. And, of course, uh, you know some of the little things as well. Bailey Grimes with a nice stiff arm and Thomas Robinson with an INT. As the siren goes, the flag is waved, and that's it. Handshakes after a 64-14 London Bee Feeders win. Yeah, not quite the outcome the Skyhawks wanted, but like I just said, a lot to build off of. Absolutely. I mean... It's tough to come in this situation. Three weeks played together, a brand new team in, a, in an established league, playing against an established team from a much bigger city. Obviously, we can sit up here and talk about what they could have done, but at the end of the day, they did compete right until the end. They played hard, and they played their first game. So this is game one down. We're going to set up the next games here, take a look at the rest of their schedule. They'll play Alumni Stadium in Hamilton against the Hurricanes Sunday, September 12th at 2 p.m., and then following that... They will play against, <coughs> excuse me, they'll play against the uh, St. Clair Fratman back at home, back here at Loyalist College where they'll be for the time being. And it uh, should be interesting. I can't wait to see where they go from here. Again, it, it's tough to start like this. You never want to see that, right, as a football team. But every loss, every, you know, big discrepancy in the score like this is something to build on. And, again, this is a brand new team. This is laying the foundation for something way beyond this. So a great first effort for the Skyhawks, and I can't wait to see what's in store for them. Yeah, it's exciting stuff, Ryan, and we're, we're looking forward to the rest of the season. Uh, three more games left. The next one, as you just saw on your screen, September 26th. It's a Sunday, three weeks from now, 4 o'clock, back here at Loyalist College Field against the St. Clair Fratman, coming all the way from Windsor. So that should be an outstanding matchup. Until then, We'll say goodbye for now. This has been Brock Ormond and Ryan Pettigrew for your TV Quinty and the Quinty Skyhawks CJFL football.